Gravistar is an interesting company. They produce speakers and different types of gadgets with a sci-fi cyberpunk style to them. Their products are functional pieces of artwork. Not for everyone, but I'm pretty sure there are people out there who appreciate this type of stuff. They're drawing inspiration from things like Transformers, Gundam, and Star Wars. And they've produced some really interesting looking designs. In a recent video, I took a look at one of their more premium setups, the Mars Pro Special Edition Aquarius. And that thing looked pretty cool and sounded really good for its size in my opinion. Now they have a newer, smaller, lower priced, and maybe to many, a weirder looking speaker. The Gravistar Mozart. So this thing is a mechanical looking panda head that has auxiliary output, Bluetooth 5.0 for your wireless connection, a 2000 milliamp hour battery with 10 hours of life on a full charge, which can be charged via USB-C in under two hours from zero to 100%. It is also capable of dual speaker networking, so you could take two of them and have them sync together for true wireless stereo sound. Two panda heads, hells yes. And yes, I did script this, I am reading it, Suck my balls, trying to be professional here. So this thing is a small 10 watt speaker with a frequency response range of 60 to 20 K Hertz and a signal to noise ratio of hundred decibels. What do those words mean? I don't know. This little panda head weighs a bit over a pound and feels solid. Has a very interesting aesthetic for sure. Lots of little details and glowing bits when powered on. The hell is that thing coming out of its head? Now, obviously, with this being a smaller speaker, it's not going to produce the same level of sound as their Mars Pro speakers, but at the same time, the audio does sound good and balanced to me. The speaker has a custom-designed transducer and sound tuning from the team at Gravistar, at least that's what they say on their website. I mean, it won't be shaking any windows, but it is perfect for an office or desk if you want to be streaming some music or listening to a podcast while you're supposed to be working. I think it's perfect for that. I mean, I, I think this is a neat little speaker for those who like the design anyway. It is interesting to say the least. It is a bit difficult to show off the quality of a speaker in a video, but without altering or editing any of my captured sound, I wanted to play you a few samples of the audio coming from this speaker connected to a Nintendo Switch OLED. And also play one of the samples from the built-in Switch OLED speakers at full volume for both so you can compare and kind of have a good idea of what we are working with here. Panda head or OLED speakers? I already know who wins. It's the panda head, all right? So let's go ahead and listen in.
So as you can hopefully hear, I was about to say see, but I don't know that you could see audio. I mean, you could read audio, but you don't get the full grasp of it type of thing. But okay, while, while the audio is not earth shaking, it definitely beats the Switch OLED's built-in speakers, which is not really a hard thing to do. But the OLED model is supposed to have better audio and speakers built in than the original model. So there's that at least. So if you like the little mech panda head speaker from Gravistar, it is currently selling on their website for $89.95, but they do usually have a discount code listed on the top of their site for first orders if you are interested. I think with a speaker like this, with the price point, you're paying more for the aesthetic and design than anything. But it does seem like Gravistar produces some decent quality speakers for these units. But if you like it, go for it. If all you want is a speaker for a cheaper price, then maybe a uh, you know piece of functional cyberpunkish sci-fi art isn't for you. And that is fine. Just wanted to share this thing with you guys. The choice is yours, obviously. Appreciate you watching. I will catch you on the next one. Bye.